Hello. Hey, you come here. Oh man, this guy's got red eyes. And it doesn't matter. Another goddamn feminist. How do I get up there? Oh, right in front of my face. Ow. Fuck you. Shit. Oh, shit is off. Oh, shit. She, uh, really knows how to handle that long, hard rod. It's that lizard. It's fine. Hello. I'm sure I'll be fine. Where did he go? Where did he go? He's still up here? I don't want to fight you. I just want to fight Purple Bro. There he is. Hey, Purple Bro, come here. Purple Bro, come on, man. Purple Bro. Come on, I'm right here. Purple Bro. Damn it. Purple Bro, there he is. I thought it was gonna be. Alrighty then. Huh. coming from they seem to be helpful thus far oh maybe not nope I'm gonna take the other path exploding barrels yep called it That would have hurt. And, yep, there are th gonna be three of them. Well, obviously, this is what I'm supposed to do. Ow. They still get me down here. Hey, guys. Kindled, are we? Yep, that's me. Welcome to my abode. I am nice Cornix, place? an old pyromancer. Mm -hmm. A crow in his cage, as you see now. Yeah, I see that. But here we are. An encounter for the ages. Yeah, I'm sure the bards will sing tales of when the, the Ashen One, for fine who carved a path of death, Across the realm, met the old guy old who couldn't even get out of a cage. Ah. And I forgot everyone can teleport. So, oh hey. There's a dude up there. So he's shot from there to over... Yeah, he was, that's where he was shooting at. So this is a circle, okay. Which means... Alright, hold up. Okay. Okay. Why 
what is this stuff? Locked. It's very peculiar mist. What is in there? I see what's in there. Is that a giant rat behind them? That looks like a giant rat behind them. That's a giant rat behind them. Alrighty. And here I am here, okay. So that goes back around that way. That might be a boss. That's a very ominous building. But it looks like, yeah, I'm going, that's where the, yeah, that's where the, the archer was. Spear thrower, I don't know what he is. It's this guy, friendly. Hmm. Another one of those I'm kidding. Faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. Friendly might be too strong a word. Okay, what's down here? Is this locked? <laughs> that reminded me of something funny. It's kind of a joke, you wouldn't get it. I guess I could... I could tell the story, but I'm not sure where to start. Is this... There's no way this is a boss. That wouldn't even make sense. So I was on Judge Judy. I need to go farther back. Okay. Hello. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever <sighs> There's a joke in that. Birch, only to be struck by a great arrow? Yes. Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. I believe you're right. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. Can you now? But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see. Mm, no, it doesn't. Well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Oh, Lord. Hmm. You're an idiot. Can't pull that. What is down? Mm. I'll go up first. See out here? There he is. He's a big feller. I can't. Can I talk some sense into him? I can. Are you? Uh. I any time. Okay. Good friend, no hit. All right. All right. So this was years ago. It must have been the sun. Mm. That was a platform. It was the spring and summer before I moved to North Korea for a year to teach ballistics and nuclear physics. Oh my god, those guys are dense. So KJ, I call him KJ because he hates it, KJ is all like, hey, I want you to come to my country and teach my people ballistics and nuclear physics. And I'm just like, just Google that shit. Just Google it. KJ's like, we can't get Google here in North Korea. It's censored. Okay. None of that. So then I'm like, well, it's pretty easy to get around that. And I start telling him some things about proxies and shit. And I get way off topic. This seems like a baby mace dog. Okay, so this was before I went to North Korea. And I was living in New York City. And I was staying with these three guys. It was two brothers and then this old guy they live with. This old old guy, he was so senile. I never even found out his name. They just called him Master. I think it was some religious thing. Both brothers had really weird names. All four actually, but the other two. Well, I guess one of them still technically lived there, but he was in rehab the whole time I was there. Nothing does any damage in this game. I found out after I left that he eventually died of a hand sanitizer overdose, which up to that point I didn't think was possible, but. Mikey, he found a way. Don't disappear like that. You had me down 
quite worried. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. Good job, buddy. <laughs> I went up the tower, so I thought, then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. You might be an idiot. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast? I do, yes. I could try talking some sense into him. Really? No, I think not. He's far too overheated. Ah, uh, the I puns. Use my head and think. So I'm living with these two brothers and their senile father figure. And one of the brothers is a pretty little guy. He's like the manager of some grocery store or something. So he's always at work. No! You should have waited! Oh, he's coming this way. It's too late now. Oh shit! I seek word of the Knights of Catalina. Fight by your side! Oh, uh, okay. <sighs> All right, buddy. I don't like fighting near this cliff like this. Jesus, are you dead yet? That's a fitting reward, that's all I get? Yeah, whatever, it's easy. Siegbrow. My sword and our victory together. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> are you a sun bro? Or a sunion bro? Well, I'm the only thing to do. <laughs> Really? I'm just gonna go to sleep out here. Yep. He sure is. <laughs> okay. <sighs> this game is ridiculous. So, anyway, the other one is this total loser. He's working tech support from home, and in his spare time, he just builds sex robots. That's all he does in his spare time. So while I'm living there, I start thinking, you know, there's probably a market for this stuff. But Donnie, he has no business or marketing talent at all. So while I'm there, I set him up a website and do all the branding. And I set up his advertising campaign, AdWords, all that shit. I basically do everything to make the product. And a few months later, old Donnie gets to quit his shit, shitty tech support job and just makes sex robots full time. Lesbian feminists. Firebombs here. Whoops. One left. Exactly enough. Oh, no. I know what you're doing. I don't want to get grabbed by that. My name was not Olaf the Snowman. Get it? Because he likes warm hugs? So, fast forward a few months, I'm sitting on the couch with this guy we knew named Casey. I know, right? A guy named Casey. He had some issues. So anyway, me and Casey are sitting on the couch watching TV, and Donnie comes in and switches the channel over to the news. So I'm like, I say to myself, alright, here we go again. Every day it's the same thing with these guys. See, they had this lady friend who came over all the time, and Donnie and Casey both had the hots for her, but they were both huge bitches. So no one ever tried anything. 
I mean, she, she wasn't that bad to look at. She was a TV reporter, so she was like local TV hot, if you know what I mean. But yeah, so every day, Donnie and Casey gather on the TV, flip over to Channel 6, and watch their crush talk about whatever boring ass shit was going on in NYC that day. Then Donnie would go to his room to fuck one of his sex robots and pass out. I guess Casey just waited until he got home or whatever. So anyway, we watch the news, Donnie goes off to bath and pass out, and Casey and I are just sitting there watching Tom and Jerry or whatever for like 10 minutes. Not a word spoken between us, we're just sitting there. Total lot silence, other than the TV. And then Casey, just out of nowhere, is like, Donnie has a mind control machine. So I'm like, the fuck did you just say? And he says it again, Donnie has a mind control machine. When April gets here later, April was her name, the reporter chick when april gets here later i'm going to use it on her and i want you to fuck her while i record it and he just says this shit out of nowhere so i'm just a normal guy i have the same reaction anybody else would and i'm just like okay oh that's that place um wait okay that Transposing kiln lies within the belly. Up. Curse ridden tree ahead. That looks like a boss fight. It doesn't open from this side. Oh, so I have to go through. Okay. That's fine. Oh, fuck. I need to make an outro. Uh, hey, I'm curious. Go for, um, left. Video is back, right one is forward. Fuck with my list. Thanks for watching. Like if something funny. Dislike if something else funny. Uh, subscriber, I'll kill myself. There it is. In the comments, do some gag that makes me suddenly abort the outro. Oh fuck, that was. About him. Very blood one. Rude. Cool but rude.